how my ex-fiancé attempted to seduce my wife. My ex-fiancé Jess, 31F, and I started dating during our sophomore year of college. We met through mutual friends and hit it off right away. She was charismatic outgoing and had an effortless way of making friends wherever she went. I, on the other hand, was more reserved and nerdy, but I enjoyed joining her at parties and social gatherings. By the time we graduated, we were engaged, and our families celebrated together on that special day. Shortly after college, I landed a job at a prominent tech company, and just moved in with me while searching for employment. That's when things began to unravel. Jess was an art major, and finding a stable job proved difficult for her. She did various freelance gigs and mostly worked from home, while I was buried in long work hours, often stretching from 10 to 12 hours a day. Our lifestyles began to clash. She wanted to hit bars and clubs regularly, while I preferred to unwind at home after work. I didn't mind her going out with friends, and I joined her occasionally on weekends. What really bothered me was that Jess seemed stuck in her party girl face. She often criticized me for being boring and urged me to embrace my early 20s more. I was also uncomfortable with the crowd she associated with, given their pension for heavy drinking and drug use. Even when I accompanied her and her friends, Jess would be overtly flirtatious with the guys in their group. Her explanations were that she acted this way when drunk or that she was just joking. Ultimately, after two years, I decided to end the engagement because our differences had become irreconcilable. The breakup was tumultuous, with Jess attempting to reconcile for nearly a year. I encountered some troubling behavior on her part, which led me to block her on all social media. Wanting to move on, I transferred to a different town and thankfully didn't hear from Jess again until now, it seems. This is when I started dating my wife, Olivia, 30F. My wife was the exact opposite of Jess. She was very soft-spoken and a homebody like me. She knew I was engaged before. We dated for three years and happily married for two years now. However, one of the sticking points we always had was my Thursday nights. Three of my closest college friends are now scattered all across the country, and we generally play a video game together on Thursday evenings since our college days. Olivia complained that she gets bored during that time. About six months ago, Olivia told me she got a Facebook invite for a group where they had painting and wine nights on Thursdays. It was mostly eight to ten women who got together at someone's house and spent the evening painting, drinking wine and gossiping. According to Olivia, it was just a few housewives and divorcees, and they welcomed her. One of the women's name was Jess, but I did not think much of it. Two weeks ago, Olivia told me it was Jess's birthday and they wanted to a ladies' night at a club. Olivia hates loud music, but Jess convinced her to come for dinner and some drinks. On that night, I got a call from Olivia at 10 p.m., asking me if I could come and pick her up. I could tell something was wrong and immediately left to pick her up. I went to the bar and went in to pick up Olivia. I was shocked when I realized that her friend Jess was my ex fiance she also looked surprised to see me there. I was polite and said hello to everyone, but Olivia wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. After we got in the car, I decided it was time to fill Olivia in about Jess. I told her that Jess was my ex-fiance, someone I hadn't seen or thought about in nearly seven years. Olivia was taken aback and confessed she had no idea about this connection. It was shocking to me too, since I had no clue Jess even lived in the same city as us now. Olivia then revealed that Jess was the one who had started the painting group Olivia had recently joined. Jess had gone through a divorce two years ago and relocated to our city for a fresh start. It was an unexpected twist to an already uncomfortable situation. Olivia explained that Jess had reached out to her earlier because she was feeling uneasy at the bar. Apparently, Jess and another woman from their group were single and had been actively encouraging guys to hit on them. They were inviting men over to their table and were persistently trying to get everyone drunk. Jess had been particularly pushy with Olivia, urging her to loosen up and enjoy herself. Jess kept hyping Olivia up to two guys who ended up buying them a round of drinks. Olivia, feeling increasingly uncomfortable with the direction of the night, 
decided to excuse herself, and called me to pick her up. I'm deeply unsettled by what happened, although I'm not mad at Olivia. My discomfort stems from the fact that I'm not entirely comfortable with Olivia maintaining a friendship with Jess, given our history. I shared these feelings with Olivia, expressing my concerns. She reassured me that she had no intention of finding herself in a similar situation again, either with Jess or anyone else. She emphasized that this painting group was her primary social outlet since we had relocated to a new city and that she valued the friendships she was forming there. Olivia also dismissed my concerns about Jess potentially acting with malice. She pointed out that Jess might not have even known I was her husband since Olivia had never shown my picture to anyone in the group. Additionally, she argued that it had been seven years since Jess and I broke up and suggested that Jess was a kind person who shouldn't be judged based on one night when she might have been drunk. Olivia expressed a desire to continue her friendship with Jess as she felt it was important to maintain her social connections. On one hand, I want to respect Olivia's autonomy and not sever her from the friends she has made. But on the other hand, my gut feeling keeps telling me something isn't right about this whole situation. It feels peculiar and uncomfortable to have my ex interacting closely with my wife. I'm torn between my instinctive unease and the desire to be supportive of Olivia's choices. Am I being unreasonable to want Olivia to stop being friends with Jess because of my instincts, or should I accept that it's Olivia's decision to make and try to let it go? Comments, Cat Empty 9861. Info, did Olivia tell this group that she was married? Because if Jess knew she was married and was trying to get her to cheat on you, even if she didn't know it's specifically you, then that is really, really scummy. She should not be hanging out with friends who encourage her to cheat on her spouse. Op replies, yes, I know this because one of the ladies in the painting group lives in our neighborhood and she knows me as Olivia's husband. Plus, her Instagram and Facebook has all our pictures together. I also felt the same about Jess' behavior. She made her uncomfortable to a point where she had to call me to pick her up. SKP Hantum. NTA, though you really should call out Jessica for being trash. Even if she didn't know it was you, she was still trying to get a woman in a relationship to flirt with slash possibly even sleep with random guys. Ladybug 570. Even if she didn't know it was you. Oh, Jess knew. She definitely knew who Olivia's husband was. Bordethelm 1962. Your wife called you to come and get her. I think that's a really good sign. And now you have warned her she can decide how the future pans out. However, I'd ask to see the paintings from time to time just in case. Away Coffee 9438. Have you tried to make local friends as a couple? It is easier to migrate to new friends than leave the only friends you have. Op replies, we do have a couple friends that we made with our co-workers. However, it's hard to make friends in a new town once you are above 30. I have one night every week when I catch up with my best friends via video games. And Olivia wanted something similar for her. She who knits. And hey, but you need to remain low-key and let Olivia process this information. The paint and wine nights are harmless and the birthday bar night could just be a one-off and Olivia may choose to not participate in one ever again. She also knew how to handle the situation on her own, so she's not a vulnerable naive waif fresh off the turnip truck. Trust your wife. If she gets any mean girl vibes off of Jess, she'll know how to deal. Op replies, that is the approach I am taking for now. I do not really have any reason not to trust Olivia. It's Jess who I don't trust. However, I do not want to come out as an asshole and insecure in asking her to stop seeing Jess and, as a consequence, her friends group. She does not have a lot of friends and seems to enjoy being with others. Plus, the other women in her group seem to be nice. Olivia told me it was a lesson learned for her and would not put herself in situations anymore where she goes to bars alone. She felt Jess did not act inappropriately since she is single and is allowed to flirt with guys. Olivia just felt uncomfortable and removed herself from the situation. Update three months later. Three months ago, 
I shared a troubling experience where I suspected my ex-fiancé, Jess, tried to get my wife, Olivia, drunk and possibly lead her to cheat on me. Since then, things seem to settle down, but the past week has been a whirlwind, and I find myself regretting that Olivia has allowed Jess back into our lives. I'm at a loss for what to do next and really need some guidance. To recap, Jess and I ended our engagement seven years ago, and I've been happily married to Olivia for five years, two of which have been as a married couple. After that disturbing night at Jess's birthday party, where she tried to get Olivia drunk and flirted with strangers, I had a serious conversation with Olivia. I explained why I was so uncomfortable with her maintaining a friendship with Jess. While Olivia acknowledged my concerns and agreed with much of what I said, she felt strongly that enough time had passed for us to move on and let things go. Olivia also spoke directly with Jess, who claimed she had no idea about my connection to Olivia and insisted that the encounter was merely a coincidence. Jess told Olivia that she had moved on from our past, had found love, and though that marriage didn't work out, she was now content. Jess even suggested that the three of us could go out for dinner to clear the air and resolve any lingering issues. She also apologized for her behavior at the bar, explaining that she was just having fun and didn't intend to make Olivia uncomfortable. Given this, Olivia asked me if I would be okay with her continuing her friendship with Jess. She mentioned that she had been struggling to find a social circle in our new town, and that Jess seemed like a different person now. Olivia reassured me that she would only meet with Jess and her friends during art nights and had no intention of engaging in girls' nights out or trips. She believed Jess's apology and felt that Jess was genuinely trying to make amends. I was torn. On one hand, I want to support Olivia and her need for social connections in a new city. On the other, my instincts are still unsettled by the whole situation. While Olivia seems to be comfortable and feels that Jess has changed, I can't shake off the discomfort I feel about having my ex re-entering our lives in such a close manner. I'm grappling with whether to trust Olivia's judgment and let this go or to take a stand based on my gut feelings. I really need help figuring out how to navigate this complex situation. Should I push for Olivia to distance herself from Jess? Or should I try to trust Olivia's perspective and let things unfold as she sees fit? Any advice or insights would be greatly appreciated. We also had dinner with Jess once and Jess was very friendly. She told me about what happened in her marriage and how she is on her healing journey right now. She also apologized to me for her behavior during our last few months together. Jess also now owns a business and works as a freelance artist and graphic designer. I also was gracious as we were just 23 and I harbor no ill feelings. My wife also started hosting art night at our place once a month or so and I had to move to my office for my game nights. Last week, after the art night, Jess and one other lady hung back, and we were all drinking wine and chatting. The other lady was asking questions about Jess and I Jess told her that it was old history, and I went no contact with Jess for four years. That was the reason why she had no idea about Olivia. Olivia looked at me and asked Jess, you mean seven years ago, right? Jess said no, and that was when we broke up. However, we met every time I came back to my hometown. I thought she was drunk, so I corrected her again that it was seven years ago and she was misremembering things. Jess said maybe, and we moved on. The next day, Jess sent a bunch of photos to my wife of me and Jess hanging out. They were just innocent photos like us having dinner, at a music festival, working out together, etc. The weirdest part was I had a few tattoos on my body that I got after I broke up with Jess. I also never owned the clothes the person in the photo was wearing. Even the photos were time-stamped to four years ago, Christmas 2019. Olivia freaked out because we started dating in summer 2019. I did make a trip alone to my hometown in Christmas 2019. However, I never met Jess. She started asking me why I did not tell her about meeting Jess. I tried to tell her that these things never happen, but she does not believe me. She also called Jess and Jess told her that we met because I was back in town. However, we were just platonic at that point, and it's not what my wife is thinking. 
I confronted Jess and she told me that I am stupid to not tell Olivia about meeting her and also not telling her about Olivia. She says that I told her I am still single. Olivia is very angry at me. She is not believing a word I am saying. I kept on telling her that I have not seen her for seven years. Olivia says she does not mind me meeting her, but I should have told her as we were together. I volunteered to show her all my phone records during that time, but they only go back to three years on my carrier. I am confused how those photos can even exist when I never met her. They are definitely photos from when I was with Olivia, as I look more muscular in these pictures, and also have tattoos that I did not have back then. I even told her she can call my friends and family and ask them about the trip, but she says that she has all the photos of my trip and my friends and family will cover for me. Can someone please help me what I can do in this case? I need to convince Olivia that this is all false. But she is just angry at me and giving me silent treatment. I swear that I did not meet Jester in that trip and am caught up in this mess without my fault. Comments. Forward most 1933. What in the Twilight Zone is going on here? Jess is freelance artist and graphic designer. Has your wife not heard of Photoshop? Olivia is really naive to believe Jess has good intentions here. I suggest you remove Jess from your lives immediately. You and your wife need to focus on your relationship. Jess knows exactly how to drive a wedge between you two, using your wife's longing for friends, naivety, and kindness against her. This is only going to spiral more if Jess continues to. Op replies, I tried to convince my wife it might be Photoshop. My wife wants to believe me, but after watching the photos and checking every possible thing, she does not trust me anymore. I also tried to find any inconsistencies in the photos that might make it seem that way. However, everything just looked right. Even the letters in my tattoos on my arm look correct in one of the pictures from Jim, where I am in workout clothes. Deep Mood 7668. Just upload the photos to one of those Photoshop test sites and show her the evidence. It's so simple. Op replies. Can someone recommend any such sites? Silent Joe 1986. Please update. This is fucking nuts. Your ex literally does graphic design for a living, and it's easy to fake time stamps on a photo. She is a professional at everything needed to make fakes. Even if you can prove the pictures are faked, I would still be thinking about your relationship, since she believes your ex over you. If nothing happened according to your ex, then why would you lie about it? It wouldn't make sense to lie about it. So stupid. Kaya irony. Um, you probably need a restraining order against Jess. This is reaching some crazy stalker level. If this is all real, I assume Jess got some current photos from that time period from yours or Olivia's social media and photoshopped them. Possibly you can get a computer forensic specialist to prove this, but you would need Olivia to be willing to believe it. Call negotiation 6623. I think I found a hole in her story. I already made a comment but just remembered an inconsistency. If you had been seeing her when you came back, why would she had apologized at the dinner for her behavior at the last months of your relationship? Wouldn't that already have been discussed? If you guys had met up platonic for years, then I would accept you guys to already have talked it out. The behavior during dinner sounds like you guys hadn't spoken since the breakup. Op replies. Good catch. I am also trying to find any other evidence that contradicts the photos. Hopefully something comes up. Nova Prime 1988. Look, if your wife is willing to believe Jess after everything she has done, then you are honestly better off without her. Olivia's desperate need for friendship is blinding her to what's going on. This would honestly be a deal breaker for me. What's Jess going to accuse you off next? False abuse accusations. Olivia is not going to have your back. This isn't something therapy is going to fix. Your wife trusts your psycho ex over you. The relationship is already done. Protect yourself and move on from both of them. I would also consider speaking to the police about the harassment from Jess because I think this might get worse before it gets better.
possibly even hire someone to confirm edited photos. NTA. Op replies. I understand my wife and those photos look real. Also what I do not get is she is accusing me of just platonically hanging out with her and nothing more. She told my wife that it was nothing and we just hung out a few times when I met her. I do not know what her end game is here. Also, in no circumstances am I ready to lose Olivia. She is my better half, and I love her. I wish she trusted me a bit more, and not believe that I hung out with Jess four years ago when we met. It is all just giving me a weird vibe. Delete. It's going to escalate. As Jess gets her claws deeper into your wife, she has more fake photos photoshopped shit ready to go. The next thing is going to be photoshopped photos of you and Jess having sex, dated, between the time she came back into your life and present day. This isn't even close to all she has planned and is just the tip of the iceberg. Put a stop to this now and hire someone to prove these photos are phony. The investment is going to be worth saving your marriage. Get into marriage counseling also. To no fault of your own, your wife's trust in you is torpedoed.